Um, thanks for all for coming. Um, this morning we're uh, basically putting a plea out in relation to a missing person investigation that we have um, in relation to a female person by the name of Tina Greer. Uh, Tina was last seen in the Beachmont area um, on the 18th of January. Um, so we're asking for anyone that has seen her or her vehicle uh, between the 18th of January and the 22nd of January in the Beachmont area through to Arachula, um, Spices Gap Road and also the uh, Governor's Chair Lookout. Um, the motor vehicle we're looking for, <coughs> I'm sorry, the motor vehicle um, that we ask people if they've seen is a maroon coloured Holden Commodore sedan. Um, I, what I'll do now is I'll, um, this is Tina's brother Adam here beside me. Adam just wants to say a few words in relation to it. Yeah, we just we just want to make an appeal to the public. We're very worried about our sister. And if anyone can help out, that'd be really good. And we love her and yep, so if anyone can shed any light on anything, we'd really love that. Yep. Can you give us a little bit Well, she's a much loved sister. So. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows how it is with your family. And what kind of personality does she have? She's a good person. We love her. She's our sister. So we just need to get her back. I thought she did use the city key last, last week. She has, yes. Mm -hmm. what did she I'm not going to go into that, but it's very important that we find her. And we'd really like any help we can. She has to go away. Drive to this area to see her boyfriend. She 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 knows the area. Yes. What sort of frame of mind is she in? Very positive, very good. And as I said, we're just here to ask if anyone knows anything. Please help us out. Can you describe it, or maybe the days or weeks leading up to her disappearance? What? The police know all that. You can ask them. How unusual is it for you not to hear from her for this long? It's quite unusual with the things that are going on, so yeah. Did you know her boyfriend at all? I'm not going to go into anything concerning the boyfriend. We hear about Tina. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. Do you have any idea where she was heading or what she was doing in the area or anything like that? Well, all I wanted to say is we appeal to the public, please, if you know anything. Talk to the police and help us out. She's got a daughter. She has got a special daughter, yeah, a beautiful daughter, and that's why it's so hard, okay? That's pretty self explanatory, really, isn't it? So, what would your message to the public be? If anyone knows anything, even just if it's the, the littlest thing, if they can just ring the police and let them know. That's the message we, uh, we want to get out there is um, if any person has seen Tina or seen that motor vehicle between the 18th and the 22nd of January um, in the, the Beachmont, um, Arachula, uh, Lake Moogra areas, please contact Crime Stoppers or their local police. Is there a certain route you believe she's taken? Um, not at this stage. Um, we're canvassing a lot of uh, possibilities in relation to that. Um, but just generally in that area, um, in the Governor's Chair Lookout area, um, as well as through to Beachmont, um, just any person, it may be a, a, a small thing, somebody may think it's insignificant, um, but we would certainly like to speak to anyone. When you talk about Spikes Gap Road and the lookout, etc., is there information, has there been sightings through there, or do you think that's just the, the path that she wants to take? Um, Tina's motor vehicle was located um, at Governor's Chair Lookout um, on the 22nd of January by, uh, by police, um, so that's why we're looking for that area as well. I'm not going to go into too much in relation to uh, what or was not in the vehicle. Um, I'm just saying that you know, the motor vehicle was located at the Governor's Chair Lookout um, on the 22nd, and we know she was last sighted at the Beachmont area on the 18th. So that's why we, we're basically looking for that wide area, um, and we'd like to keep these things open. Have you been able to contact Tina's boyfriend? Uh, we have spoken to a number of people in relation to this matter. Um, I'm not going to go into exactly who we have spoken to and who we haven't spoken to, um, but there are a wide range of people that we have spoken to, and um, we would still dearly like to speak to uh, anyone else who has information in relation to this matter. What's the investigation being triggered at the moment? 
It's been treated as a uh, missing person investigation. We do hold um, fears for Tina's safety, obviously for the length of time um, that she uh, has been missing for, but at this stage it is being treated as a missing person investigation. No, Homicide um, Investigation Unit are assisting us with our inquiries, um, just for their expertise in relation to these kind of investigations. Is it, is it true her boyfriend has links to Bikies? Um, it, we can confirm that she uh, was in a relationship with a male person who did have uh, affiliates with OMCGs. Um, however, I'm not going to go into any further in relation to that. What's happening with the search at the moment? Is that still ongoing? Uh, there is a search being conducted today um, on a property surrounding um, around the Spices Gap Road area. Um, we do have uh, police divers in that area, um, just looking at dams and things like that. No, it's not. Um, we have conducted a search of that property, um, and that was uh, done over a couple of days, yes. Is there any home in Not at that stage, no. So you haven't been able to make contact with the boyfriend? Uh, there has been some contact, yes. But I'm, I'm not going to speculate in relation to anything further in relation to that, sorry. Were there any signs of a struggle where the car had been found? No. Was the car in the um, The car was in locked condition. Um, and uh, that, that's all I want to say in relation to that at this stage. There wasn't damage to the windows no. or anything missing? No. What's that thing about? Is there anything to do like swimming or is there any activities that... Um, I believe, I'm not overly familiar with the area, um, but I do believe there's a number of walking tracks um, through that area and a camping ground as well. Why is Tina going out that way? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not going to speculate in relation to that. Do you know, Adam, if she would go to this lookout and take walks through the... I, I couldn't tell you. There was some um, information earlier that she was in the area to visit friends, is that correct or not? Um, she was in that area, um, we believe, um, to visit a friend, yes. She was heading to Arachula to visit a friend, is that that's, correct? That's correct, yes. Um, we believe so, yes. How will the uh, search continue now? I know you've got a search underway at the moment, you've got divers involved, how long will that take and where to from here? Um, that search will be exhausted, um, so um, they will search an, a couple of dams that are on this property. Um, there is also a further scope to conduct a, another ground search um, of that area. Um, so basically we won't leave any stone unturned in relation to the search. Um, it's a, it is a missing person investigation, so um, we treat it um, very seriously and we do use a lot of resources um, to extend to that. Can you talk to us about why, why that uh, it's just a property in that area, um, so that's why we're looking at that. Um, we're searching a, a number of areas along that along that roadway. There's no mention of any friend or anything. No. Has Tina used credit cards, mobile phones, anything like that? Um, I'm not going to go into anything in relation to uh, that at this stage. Um, no. Have you seen that picture there? Um, I'm not exactly sure where that CCTV was taken from. Um, it was around, um, I believe, the Gold Coast area, um, but that's what she was wearing on that day. Is that taken from the day? Yes, it was. Is there any mention of this domestic partner? Uh, I'm not sure in relation to that, I'm sorry. How many officers have you got involved in the search area? Uh, specific numbers, um, I'm not sure of. Um, however, there is um, our homicide investigation unit are assisting um, Ipswich detectives um, as well as detectives from um, Toowoomba as well. What did Tina do for work? <laughs> yeah, I've got no comment on anything. So I'm done. Have there been any sightings after you've put the first few alerts out? Have people been contacting you for crime stoppers and things? No, not at this stage, huh? Is it a case of someone must have seen her in that area or is it an isolated area? Are you, how confident are you that she should have been spotted if someone must have seen something around there? Um, it is a rural area, um, however um, it is quite a busy area as well. Um, so we're just hopeful that somebody has seen her or, or seen the motor vehicle and will contact Crime Stoppers.
sorry, the motor vehicle is found 26 feet down. That's right, yes. Was it parked at the camping ground or? It was parked at the lookout. Yeah. Okay then, we'll, um, that might be it. Thank you all for coming.